juicy scrunchie. <gasps> Jacket. In we go. Oh wait, jacket. Yeah. Birthday oh, jacket. Birthday jacket. <laughs> Got the next size up. It's just like such a great jacket, wasn't it? Yeah. It's, it seemed seemed right to get another one. Thank you to Squarespace for being a long-term supporter of my channel and allowing me to run my business so smoothly. As you might know, I recently set up the Ramble membership and over the past couple of weeks I've been updating the Yorkshire Dales guide, seeing as it is where I live. I also added this lovely holiday cottage into the guide. I love how easy Squarespace makes it for me to add new locations to each guide with text and images and I think it looks really professional. It's great knowing that if I need to update my own website I can do it myself at any time without having to hire a professional web developer. For me that's really important as I make updates to my website every single day. So if that sounds like something that would be beneficial to you and your business, or if you're thinking of starting your own business or blog, 
you can head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, just head to squarespace.com forward slash Athena Mella for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Monday. I am starting this Monday in this beautiful 17th century farmhouse in the Yorkshire Dales, feeling very lucky to be here. It was Aoife's birthday on Friday, and we have been staying here all weekend with all my family. Um, so this day was very kindly gifted by Bramber Hall. I stayed at Bramble Hall with my younger sister um, in 2019, so before I moved to this area. And it was actually a major reason why I moved here. I just loved that trip so much, um, exploring the Halgill Fells, which is in the Yorkshire Dales National Park officially. Um, and then I moved here a few years later, so we're actually not far from home at all. We are about 20 minutes, I think, um, north of where we live. We're in a village called Wharton. It's just stunning here. We are staying in this beautiful house. It sleeps seven people, so it's really big, really spacious, has this big garden. It's been perfect for us this weekend with all my family, my sisters, uh, my sister's fiance, my mum and her partner, um, all the dogs, us and Oslo and Aoife. Um, it's just been such a nice weekend and we're actually leaving this morning. We've been staying here for the last three nights. So we're leaving this morning, going back home, um, having a normal Monday, but I thought I would film a little bit from the house uh, first because it's so beautiful and maybe I'll sh give you a little tour around. I've been filming little bits over the weekend, but as we were just with my family and kind of enjoying Eva's birthday, I haven't filmed loads. Um, the weather's also been really temperamental, so as you can see now, I have some beautiful sunshine coming in through the window, um, but we have had lots of rain. I think Saturday was just like a rainy day. We did manage to get out on a walk, but it was very rainy day. Um, but yeah, I just, oh, it's just the most beautiful house. It's kind of, so everyone left on Sunday morning and we, just me, Harvey, um, Oslo and Aoife had the house to ourselves yesterday and obviously last night and this morning, which has been really nice to just, for us to just chill and, be here as a family as well after being with all my family. Um, it kind of feels like I'm pretending like this is my house. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I would absolutely love to live somewhere like this. Yeah, it's just such such a nice house. Um, they've restored it, renovated it really nicely, like kept the flagstone uh, floors and like a lot of the original features. The fireplaces are beautiful. Um, I'll definitely show you around because I think you guys will love this place. Um, and I'll also link it down below. Um, they didn't, this isn't like a sponsored video, but obviously it was a gifted stay. And if you guys are thinking of coming to this area um, from seeing my videos and you're coming with a big group of you, I would definitely recommend this place. But right now I'm actually making breakfast. I'm making baked oats. Um, I made this a couple of years ago, probably in a video. And I recently, <laughs> made it on Instagram and everyone was like, how do you how do you make it? Um, so I thought I would show you guys how I make my baked oats again. It's really, really easy. I have seen some recipes online where you like blend the oats and add eggs and stuff, but my recipe is really easy and tastes delicious. So I have here, I have a baking tray and it's got oats in and milk. Um, we always use the like whole rolled jumbo oats and whole milk but you can use whatever milk you like um so that i put that in there this morning and it's been soaking for a, i don't know maybe an hour or two an hour and a half or so so i'd say you can soak it overnight in the fridge um i'd say like one to two hours you can kind of tell when it started to like absorb the milk um i can't be bothered to wait anymore so we're gonna I'm gonna put this in the oven now, but yeah. And let me show you actually the other way around. So here we go, we've got the oats soaking in milk and I'm now gonna mash this banana into it. I really like it with banana, it tastes like banana cake for breakfast, but um, you don't have to add banana to it. Oh, and look at the view. 
The sun's just coming through. You can't see it that well from here, but this is the beautiful garden. So nice. Just looking right out on the hills. So now I've got my banana mashed into this. I'm just gonna put it in the oven. I've set the oven to like 200 degrees, I think, 180, 200. Um, and it's gonna be in there for 20 to 25 minutes until it's golden. You can, at this point, mix in Ooh, in fact, I've got some Nutella. Maybe I'll mix in some Nutella as well. But you can mix in like vanilla essence or whatever you want really. But maybe let's go and get some peanut butter on top probably. Did I bring the Nutella? Hmm, maybe I didn't bring it. I found the Nutella, guys. I think I might mix a little bit of Nutella in. So here are the stunning views you have from outside the cottage and then here it is, Bulgill. It's this beautiful farmhouse. And go through the gate. And you come in to the hallway so we're just kind of packing up Oh dear. And then you've got this beautiful flagstone floor. That's the kitchen. And through here you've got this beautiful dining room. Which is, we didn't actually really use this room, but it's really nice. You can imagine having like Christmas dinner here. Here. I can hear Aoife. And then this is the lounge where we've basically spent all our time. Hi, what's the matter? Is it because mommy's here? Yeah, exactly. Aww. She's like, Aww. as soon as she sees you, she's just like, oh, uh, mommy. <laughs> um, little fire, beautiful oh, lounge, TV on. <laughs> and then you walk through to the kitchen. which is just beautiful as well. And got breakfast set up here. <laughs> and then you've got a utility room through here and a, well, sorry, utility room and bathroom here. And this is just like back door, um, boot area. Yeah. Oh, hello, Oslo. Hello. <laughs> So up the stairs, got the bookcase. And this is the little single room that my sister stayed in. And the views from every single window are just incredible. And then beautiful rug. We have been in here. The big, this is a super king size bed, I think. So all three of us have been in there. And we have a little ensuite through there as well. But just all the features are so nice, like little books, orange. <laughs> this is the main bathroom. I had a couple of baths while we've been here. As you guys know, we don't have a bath. And then these rooms my family stayed in, so the beds have been stripped, but you get the idea. There's one room and another room. They're so nicely designed. It's just, yeah, it's been so nice to be here.
And here is my baked oats. Delicious. Should we, should we cut into it and have a look? Mm, yum, 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 yum. They make their own marmalade, and how good is this, Harvey? The Seville marmalade is yeah. delicious. <laughs> it's really good. Are you getting to have some effort? She's not having marmalade, <coughs> but she's definitely <laughs> she's definitely getting toast butter. <laughs> <laughs> we are back home now from our lovely weekend away at Bulgill. Um, just had lunch with Aoife, she had a little nap when we got home and my mum's just taken her over to her house to play for the afternoon. So usually I would or should be working um, all day on a Monday. My mum usually looks after Aoife all day on a Monday. But yeah, we've just got home, kind of like sorting the house out a little bit. And I really just feel like I need to sort out all of Aoife's toys, which are behind me, because obviously it's just been her birthday and um, she's got <laughs> some new toys from lovely friends and family, which is really kind. And we don't have very much space in our house. Um, Aoife doesn't have her own room, so she doesn't have like, I think a lot of people have like a dumping ground for toys, but we don't, which means it's very much like a one in one out policy, which I think is a good thing. Um, so I'm gonna sort through her toys and put some in a bag for the charity shop, and put some it like away for future babies or cousins or friends or anything like that. Um, yeah, sorry if that's really boring, but that is what I'm up to right now uh yeah let me show you the state actually of what's behind me <laughs> so here is some of Aoife's new toys that she got for her birthday we got a lot of these things that you kind of put in uh holes like that which are really nice so um and then my sister got her this really nice train set which is all kind of come apart here but it's yeah it's a really great little toy and then this is kind of where we keep Aoife's toys so a little bit in this chest although to be honest we don't really go in the chest most of it is just on this bottom shelf here and that's our bookcase there um so I'm gonna sort through all of this stuff um I'm gonna put some things in here which is this like I got this these two little um, baskets from H&M before Aoife was even born so I'm going to use the big one I think down here to put some toys in and yeah just saw out all of this So here is a slightly more organized toy area. I've got a few bits in the chest, not a lot in the chest, but a few little bits. Um, this is a block set from Love Every, which Aoife really likes actually. So 
got that out it also you can make it into a little car which is really cute um, we've got a xylophone some books which I think I'm going to take upstairs and then I've got these two both here for now this one is just full of soft toys and this one has the train set in that I was showing you guys that my sister bought Aoife so and then we've got a few of her love every toys here and a few other little bits that she plays with and some of her board books Good morning everybody, it is Tuesday and we are back home, um, Harvey's working today so it's just me and Aoife who is down on the floor behind me <laughs> and just making some breakfast, we've just walked to Oslo, um, Aoife actually has her 12 mom vaccinations this morning uh, which I'm a little bit nervous about, she doesn't know what's coming yet but Apparently it's quite a tough one because they're that bit older and they kind of know what's going on. Um, I can't remember how many injections it is, maybe two? I don't know, but yeah, that's that's this morning. But I'm just making us some breakfast, some porridge for breakfast. And yeah, it's a bit of a grey, dreary day, but I'm sure we'll get up to something. So last week I decided, Aoife was almost one, I decided to try and make a new sourdough starter. As you guys might know, if you followed me for a really long time, I got really into making sourdough in lockdown. I think it's just started raining. Ooh. Um, and I loved it, I got really into it. Anyway, then Eva came along and I just stopped <laughs> uh, because it's quite hard to keep it alive and just keep making it and yeah. So, but I just, I just kind of got the urge that I wanted to redo it. Um, oops, <laughs> I've got a little one like hanging off my leg. Um, so yeah, I made it and then fed it for three days and then we went away for the weekend for for three days so it hasn't been fed and I'm a little bit worried that it might have died it looks a little bit funky but I'm gonna try I'm gonna feed it and I'm going to try and see if it revives I don't really know if I'll know if it has revived but I'm just gonna feed it and then see what it looks like and I think you can kind of tell from the smell um, it does smell weird anyway, but I think if it smells really weird, then you know it's it died. Oh my god, she's walking. This little one has just started walking the last, I mean, kind of yesterday. She was just standing up, pushing herself up and just walking. She was so excited. It was really cute. Um, yeah, but okay, so I'm going to do that now. And yeah, maybe maybe I got a bit... Um, overexcited on the sourdough thing and made it too soon but hey ho <laughs> so here's my slightly dodgy looking sourdough and this time I've been using Jill Meller's time book and it's just the simple sourdough recipe and just explains how to make the starter here so oh dear Are you okay so I'm just gonna give it 25 grams of rye flour and then 50 ml of water and hope it revives. <laughs> I actually think it looks all right and it doesn't smell that bad. So I'm gonna put it back in here in a warm place 
for overnight and then after that it actually should be ready and then I'll leave it in the fridge. <laughs> it goes, there it is. <laughs> Can you say hi Oslo? Hi. Hi. Hi Oslo. Hi. Oslo. So we've got about half an hour before we have to leave to go to the doctor. Um, so I've come up to the office, I've made myself a cup of coffee. Aoife is entertained with a box which she's just started to like fill boxes and empty them. So you just kind of give her a box of stuff and she that entertains her for a little bit so that's nice. Um, I thought I would show you a few of the lovely things that we have in our store for Christmas. Um, it is the 1st of November now, I know a lot of people are thinking about spreading Christmas gifts over the mums um, so I wanted to show you now what we have what's in Aoife's box <laughs> what's in your box Aoife no no oh. So starting here, we have a really nice range of outdoor and nature books. We've got some Robert McFarlane books, um, Wild Guide Scotland. We've got some kids books. These are really nice. Aoife loves these books. Hardback kids books, um, baby books, I should say. <laughs> and I'm currently reading this book, which is a really beautiful book. Um, yeah, I've got a range of books here. Down here we have our wool headbands. Um, we've only got one of those left, but we will be getting more and these lovely colours as well. And we're going to be getting some of the kooky in, which usually go here, but we have run out. Um, we've got the Isla Joy Middleton calendar, which again is a beautiful calendar this year. We've got our Now Jeans. Great for getting out into the hills. And then over here we have our Kindred Folk candles. We've got four different scents. And then we have Nella Nella Tea, which is this amazing herbal tea. And we've got our coaster sets from Alp and Ash, which are really nice. I can't open those to show you, but check them out online <laughs> we've got of course we've got my book which is our best seller <laughs> i'm very pleased to say um we've got some peak district maps and we've got our calm cocoa hot chocolate we've got some more nature books over here we've got the john lewis stemple books which always do really well around Christmas because they're such lovely gifts and we've got some lovely little Christmas cards as well um, and these are actually new things that I haven't put online yet but these are these beautiful Christmas tree candles um, yeah really excited to get those online and we have our Ridgeline coffee bags which have actually been selling really well um, yeah we've only got four boxes left but we will get some more and we've got our coffee, my favourite dark woods, and all of our socks, which we are also going to get, be getting some more of. The Bridgedale hiking socks, they are amazing socks. So, yeah, that's kind of it. Oh, yeah, and then we've got our mugs, which, again, I know you guys have seen because I use them all the time, which I'm not going to open. Um, and some of our lovely Phoenix and Providence, oopsies, knocked everything over, stuff up here and soaps from Little Northern Soap House, which are, again, lovely.
good morning it is thursday today and we have woken up to quite a nice day we've had so much rain and wind lately yesterday was just like so windy and rainy it was horrible and um, we went to forest school and got drenched um <laughs> but because it's such a nice day i've kind of made a bit of a spontaneous decision to head into the lake district harvey's working so it'll be just me Aoife and oslo um which i'm not gonna lie like is quite daunting for me um it's mostly the drive and like the admin parts so i know like as in the preparing i know as soon as we're there and Aoife's on my back it'll be totally fine but yeah, like packing with a baby, packing the car with a baby. Um, she also really doesn't like the car. She's never really liked the car since she was a newborn. And we kind of thought she'd grow out of it, but she hasn't. And we've realized that she's travel sick. She has vomited a few times in the car. So that always makes me nervous about driving by myself with her because if um, Harvey were here, I could sit in the back and distract her, but he's not so... Yeah, anyway, that's just, that's, I suppose I'm just talking about the realities of parenting and kind of trying to do little adventures and little day trips and stuff like that. I know a lot of people have similar issues, but yeah, despite all that, we are going to head over to Grasmere. It's an hour's drive, so it's not very far and hopefully she'll just sleep in the car because I think she's a little bit tired. Um... And I think that we are going to, well, there are a couple of places that I need to photograph for my book. There is Lucia's, Lucia's. I never know if it's Lucia's or Lucia's, but it's a really nice little cafe. And the Grasmere gingerbread shop, and just generally like thought I might take some photos around Grasmere. Uh, maybe go to the bookshop, the Sam Reed bookshop is really nice. And then might walk up to Alcock Tarn. Um, yeah, and just have a little wonder, it's only like 5k walk, so that'll be nice and easy for us. Oh look, someone is climbing in her car seat. Despite the fact that she hates her car seat, she's just climbed into it. <laughs> Likes it when it's not in a moving vehicle. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna um, get everything in the car. I'm thinking of bringing Aoife's bike as well, because I think there's a playground at Grasmere, which I've never been to before. She's really into a bike at the moment in the house so we really need to go outside on it so she can properly actually go somewhere so yeah that is the plan does that sound like a good plan kids yep just chilling in the car seat <laughs> see you guys in Grasmere wish me luck <laughs> We have just headed out of Grasmere and we're heading up to Alcock Tarn now. The sign just there said that it's only one and a quarter mile, but it's quite steep. I've got this bear on my back who's getting bigger and heavier all the time. That's low. He's there. Ooh, but yeah, it's lovely. Day, it's not raining. It really chucked it down on the way here. But then as I came into Grasmere, the sun was coming out and there was like really low cloud on the hills from where um, the clouds were like rising. So yeah, hopefully it'll be quite nice up there. Like a fire on a cold night. Like Sinatra on a long drive. There are some really grey clouds all over here <laughs> but luckily we are going this way where there is a little patch of blue sky so fingers crossed we don't get drenched when we get up there <laughs> it started raining and I managed to get up to this little woodland to take a bit of shelter it's actually hailing and it looks kind of set in so I'm like oh, shall I just go back um, I'm probably about only about half a kilometre from the tarn um, but I'm not going to go up there because it's really exposed if it's going to stay like this. It looks really set in as well on the hills. Ah, it's just really frustrating to be honest because I just feel like every time I try and come out and get, um, I know, and get photos for my book and I'm like oh yeah I've got a weather, weather window and the weather just, oh is it Cumbrian? weather it's hailing <laughs> but hey ho that is the lake district um 
Yeah, it is hailing. I think she's okay, and this little one is fussing. I'm gonna try and stay here until the hail subsides, and then um, probably head down. <laughs> this hasn't gone to plan. Not ideal. Oh well. I belong with you. morning again everybody it is thursday today i left you yesterday with Aoife and i huddling under a tree while it hailed didn't i here she is little bear <laughs> don't worry guys we did survive um but we had an absolute nightmare <laughs> basically i started descending and i was like really wanting to get down really quickly because the weather was awful and it was cold Aoife was cold, I put her gloves on and she she seemed a lot better. I think her hands were getting cold. Anyway, I was like, right, I just need to get back down to Grasmere. I wasn't actually that far away. And Oslo ran away. <laughs> he ran, he just bolted up the banking in the woodland and then I saw a deer. So obviously he got the scent and he just ran off. And I did try and look probably for about half an hour, um, but it was, chucking it down it was awful i rang harvey like quite hysterically um i'm usually quite a chilled person but in that situation i was like i cannot i cannot do this by myself because i had Eva in the backpack it's really heavy the backpack i couldn't be trudging like up the the woodland with her and it we were wet and cold so i just rang harvey and he was like right don't worry i'll come he was in kendall working so he was about 30 to 40 minutes away. So I had to leave Oslo in the woods, um, walk back down into Grasmere, put Aoife in the car, and then I drove up. And then Harvey met me there, and it was quite good timing because he got there just as I got there. And then we walked into the woods together, and there was Oslo. And he was exactly where we'd left him. He was still sniffing around, but he was obviously like looking for us a little bit. So thankfully it wasn't that bad. We didn't lose him for hours, but it was pretty stressful when it happened. So after that, I was like, I don't know if I could do this, like the whole baby dog, baby dog and just being out in the hills by myself in winter, um, if the conditions are gonna be like that. So that was kind of stressful. But <laughs> we have woken up to the most beautiful morning this morning. It is frosty and cold. Harvey's not working today. He's not working. I don't think maybe he's just going to try not to work on Fridays. That's going to be like our family day. So we're going back out into the lakes. We're going to go do a hike together. Unfortunately, in the process of Oslo running after this deer, he hurt himself. His back right paw is a bit sore. I think he might just be a bit sore, but he's also got a little cut on his leg. It'll heal fine. It's it's nothing bad, but um, we're not going to bring him with us for that reason. He literally can't really walk. He's just kind of hobbling along, so he just needs to rest. Um, so yeah, it will just be me, Harvey and Aoife, which will be so much easier. Having Harvey carrying Aoife, um, which means that I can actually like focus on getting some photos because it's such a nice day for the book. And um, yeah, like it, this is a walk that I want to put in as a walk in the book. So I'll be like taking note of the route and stuff like that. So yeah, I have high hopes for today. I'm really looking forward to being out there. And yeah, as I said, it's beautiful, frosty, crisp. It'll probably cloud over late, later, I think. We should, it's, it's that thing of like, we, we wanna try to get out really early, but it's really hard with a little one. We need to give him breakfast and we need to have breakfast. And then Harvey was flying the drone and then he lost the drone in a tree and he had to go climb the tree. And <laughs> yeah, that is, that is our life. <laughs> but yes, um, heading out shortly and we will see you there. <laughs>
Ta-da! So we are out walking now. We've made it into the lakes. Uh, it's not as clear blue skies and frosty as it was at home, but um, probably has all burnt off now. Uh, but it's not raining, guys. So there's something. <laughs> exactly. Um, we are at Seathwaite. So we've driven to Seathwaite, which is actually where we camped in the summer with our, all our friends, which is great. And then we're gonna walk up Glaramara. Is that how you say it, Glaramara? Um, do a really nice walk up through the valley and then back along the ridge line. So yeah, should be good, should be a good day. It's only about 10K, so it's not that far. <laughs> I like the way 10K has become not that far, whereas like, uh, I don't know, a few months ago when I was postpartum, that would have been like, so hard. <laughs> um, I think after doing the Fiara Oven Classic and doing like 20k days, now 10k is like, ah, it's not that bad. Yeah. Famous last words. <laughs> we don't have many snacks, do we? Shifting baselines. <laughs> exactly, yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, our snack situation is, is, is a little is, bit dire. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> we forgot until we were like, yeah. we borrowed it. We like, oh. And there's actually, there's usually a little snack shack here at the farm but it wasn't there so yeah we're well fed though well fed we've got <laughs> we've, a good breakfast yeah we've got our camping meals as well yeah like we, we probably to be fair don't need snacks we're but fine. it's always nice to have snacks <laughs> <laughs> wish us luck <laughs> Like new gloves. <laughs> what are these? Auntie Annie got them for you. Nana. Crack, crack, crack. That's very nice to be out. <laughs> Someone was getting a little bit grumpy. Oh dear. <laughs> Here she is. Um, so we stopped for lunch a little bit earlier than we probably would have, but it doesn't matter. We're just heading up through the valley on our outward journey. And then we will turn and head back along the ridge line and then drop down. <laughs> but I think she's a bit tired, so we're gonna have some lunch now. She'll have a full belly and then hopefully go to sleep for the next bit. And to be fair, it's not a bad spot to stop. Look at the beautiful view. And what's that behind us again? Uh, Great End. Great, Great End. Yeah. And then Great Gables behind it. Great Gables over to the, over there. Okay. Yeah. So that's kind of the end of the sort of Scarfell yeah. Massif. Yeah. So we just stopped for lunch and um, we got about half, well just less than halfway into the walk and we've actually decided to descend. Um, the weather is just not quite 
in our favour today. I feel like this video has just been me complaining about the weather. I'm not <laughs> complaining. <laughs> um, but apparently it's very windy up high, 30 mile an hour, cold. Feels like minus three or so. We just spoke to some people who were coming down off maybe Scarfell or something like that. Yeah, I reckon. So that. higher than we'd be going, but they were like, you know, it's cold, it's really windy, and yeah, not we just the best conditions, not the best especially with ether. for taking ether up basically. Like if it was just us, we'd probably go, but yeah, um, we'd suffer. <laughs> but well, we don't. You know, it's good to to come. I mean, we're yeah. quite lucky in the fact that as we come up this valley, we're sort of just in the lee of the wind. And uh, it's nice to you know get out. I yeah. mean, sometimes you just got to come see what it's like, and then yeah, it was nice it's... to nice to come out and just have lunch in the hills. To be honest, wasn't yeah, it? yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and checking out half of this walk. Um, we've actually already done this half, but hey ho. Um, yeah, so we're gonna head back down and maybe go to the pub. Maybe yeah, go to the pub. We could go to the pub. We could also we could go do some uh, check out some yeah, coffee spots. We've got a little bit of time before it gets yeah. dark, so we might just go take some photos and yeah, we'll have to come back and do this another time. <laughs> it ain't going anywhere, hopefully. Exactly.